Hello Internet and welcome to part 26 of my tutorial on how to make Android apps. Today I'm going to show you how simple it is to add tabs to your Android applications. Going to keep it real simple there and in the next tutorial which should be uploaded almost immediately I'm going to show you how to make these apps also swipeable at the same time. So why don't we jump over and look at what the finished product is going to look like. Okay, so here it is. Really, really simple. What we're going to have here is whenever these tabs are clicked on on the top of the screen, the fragments underneath are going to change. So, let's go over and let's write the code. Okay, so you saw the finished application and what we have right here is an application I called Android Tabs. And what we're going to need to do is because we're going to be switching between fragments, we're going to have to create those fragments. First thing I'm going to do is come over here and I'm going to create some layouts. So I'm going to go New and I'm going to go XML and it is an XML layout file. And I am going to call this first one Tab Fragment 1 and I'm just going to leave this as a linear layout and click click on finish and here you can see it right here so just to keep this very simple I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to create a text view and I'm going to have the width be wrap content and the height be wrap content I'm going to put some text inside of here and this is just going to say tab fragment one and then just show it shows up really good I'm going to have a text size of 16 SP and there we go and then I'm just going to copy this guy and I'm going to create two more of these fragment layouts and just come over here new XML layout XML file call this tab fragment you're guessing two and you would be right and we're gonna click on finish come in here select all paste that in there call this two and that's all we're gonna need to do save that select all copy come over here again layout new XML layout file and tab fragment three and then basically just a copy and paste and we are going to have all those layouts all set up for ourselves so there we are and it's just this simple and change that to three okay now I need to go over and create the class files that are going to sync up with these fragments all right and to do that we're going to come over here and we're going to click on this and go new and this is going to be a Java class I'm going to call this tab fragment one and click on OK and get rid of all this stuff this of course is going to extend the fragment class we're going to right click inside of here. Oh, I didn't get the right one, so we're going to type a little bit slower and have this do it for me. And I just want the regular old fragment. Come in here, right click, come into generate, override methods, and I'm going to override on create view, which is going to say, hey, go get the layout, and that's the layout I want to use here. And here it is on create view. Select that, click on OK. We're going to get rid of that all together. And then I'm going to go view, create our view here is equal to call the inflator so that it will inflate the layout that we want here and then just go r dot layout dot and then it's going to be tab fragment one there we go pass in null and then return our finished view doesn't get much simpler than that there we are select all that well we first want to save it and then we want to copy it and then we're going to create one of these for all the other fragments java class tab fragment two Click on OK, select everything, paste that in there, change this to 2, come down here, change this to 2, file save, there we go, select all, copy, move over here, Java class, it's great whenever things work just perfectly here, fragment 3, click on OK, select everything, paste that in there, change this to 3, change this to 3, and there we go, very simple, now we got all our fragments set up. Now we need to go into activity main, this guy over here, open it up. And we're going to define exactly the container where we're going to be loading everything, which in this situation is going to be a frame layout. Come in here, give it an ID, and I'm going to call this fragment container because that is what it is. That's where all the fragments are going to be loaded. And guess what? Activity main is done. Now we need to go in and create another class, and this is going to be the guy that's going to listen for whenever the tabs are clicked on, and then it is going to change the fragment based off of that. And we're going to call that tab listener. Here it is, tab listener, because that is exactly what it is. Click on OK. And tab listener is what we call a callback interface, which is just going to be invoked, just like you would think, anytime a tab action occurs. And we just need to come in here and have it implement action bar tab listener. And if we want to just import this to save some time, just go Android app dot action bar. And there we go. And it's going to say, hey, you need to implement some methods. Great, go and do that for me. Implement those methods. Just select every single one of them. Click on OK. And it's going to give you all the different ways the tabs can be interacted with. And then you just have to define exactly what happens thereafter. Now we're going to be changing fragments here. So I'm going to create a junk fragment. And this is just a regular old fragment we're going to be using here. We're going 
going to create a constructor for our tab listener. And what we're going to do is we're going to pass in the fragment we want to change to whenever there is a click event. So we're going to pass over a fragment, and let's just call this fragment. Let me just go this. Fragment is equal to the fragment that was passed in. And there we go. Then we need to say, okay, what's going to happen whenever a tab is selected or clicked on, whatever you want to call it? Well, here's the fragment transaction right there. What we're going to do is just go FT and replace ID. This is going to be the fragment container inside of Activity Main. There it is. And we're going to change it to the fragment that was passed in. And there it is. That's how easy it is to replace the fragment on the screen. Then we're going to have to also come in here to whenever the tab is unselected. And if we want to remove fragments that was unselected, that's all we do is type in remove. Pretty simple. And then this guy on tab reselected, we don't need to do anything with that. And that is it. There's tab listener all set up. Now we need to go into main activity and finish up everything. So here we are inside of main activity. Now we need to set up our different tabs that we're going to be using. So action bar, and then I'm going to go tab, and we'll just call these tab 1 and tab 2 and tab 3. Very simple. Also going to have to come in here and define the fragments that we're going to load whenever the tabs are clicked on. I'm just going to define them all as fragments. There we go. And we'll just call this fragment 1 is equal to, and then we'll define that we want it to specifically focus on tab fragment 1. And then we're going to do the same thing for the other three potential fragments. So if you want to add more fragments, you just would increase these number of fragments that you have right here. There you go. And there. I'm going to be using a couple deprecated different things here just to express how these tabs work. Not a big deal. If you want to suppress warnings for deprecation, that's all you need to do. And then we're going to come in here and define our action bar. We just go get action bar. And if you get this little error message right here, just come up here. We specifically just want to use the regular old Android app action bar. Just come in here, change that, and now everything will be fixed. We want to set the current navigation mode for our action bar that we're going to be using tabs. So navigation mode, and then we'll go action bar dot and set our navigation mode to tabs. And there that is. Now if we want to come in here and add some titles to our tabs, which we definitely want to, we can just go action bar, new tab, set our text, and we can just make this simple, just have it be tab one. Then we're going to do the same exact thing for all the other different tabs, just like you saw whenever I showed you the application. And there we are. And now we have to set up so that we can use the tab listener to be able to change the fragments automatically whenever a new tab is clicked on. Like I said before, the tab listeners are going to provide callbacks for any type of tab event, like the tab being clicked on. And just to reiterate, a callback just informs another class whenever an action has occurred. So we're going to go tab 1, set, tab, listener, pass in new, tab listener, which is the class that we created, and we're going to pass in fragment, one. We're just going to have to do this for every single one of our fragments. So whenever tab 1 is clicked on, the fragment 1 is going to show up. Whenever tab 2 is clicked on, the fragment 2 is going to show up. Just that simple. That's basically all we're saying right here. And then change this to 3. Very simple. And then the final thing we have to do after we have defined the title that we want and the actions that will occur whenever the tabs are clicked on, well the final thing we need to do is go in and add the tabs to our action bar. And they are added just by going add tab and passing in our finished tabs. And then of course we just have to do that for all of the other ones. So let's just copy that and that, throw in this tab and throw in this tab. And there you go guys, that is everything. All the code of course is available in the description. In the next tutorial, which like I said, should be up tomorrow, I'm going to show you how to make this interface also swipeable. Please leave your questions and comments below. Otherwise, till next time.